Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is a morning market prep video for September 24th, 2021. Well, my goodness, we had quite a bullish surge yesterday. Everything, everyone came rushing in. We kind of ignored the increasing jobless claims and just charge forward as if there was nothing to really worry about. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in, buckle up? Let's get ready for the Friday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone. Thank you so much for being here. Um, I do want to remind everyone that um, Google is working on this. I, there's some scammer or something out there causing some hate and discontent um, on the channel. Um, if you get any message um, from, it says right way options, um, appears from me, but it is asking you to go to a WhatsApp um, um, number, don't do it. Um, I, I don't know that it's any, uh, that it would be harmful, but, um, it is a scam and, um, I, I mean, harmful to your computer or anything like that, but it's, it is a scam and, um, please, please avoid, avoid clicking on any of those links. I don't use WhatsApp. I never will use WhatsApp. And um, the purpose of these videos is to um, educate and help other traders not to sell you products. So hopefully, um, hopefully you will heed that warning. Um, let's take a look here at these charts and see if we can get some information about how we might want to approach the market for today. Let's take a quick look here at the, the Dow. Let's look at the diamonds here first. Well, first let's do look at the Dow. Notice that from our Monday low here, yesterday's rally, rather rambunctious rally, we're up almost 1200 points off of the Monday low. So just a substantial recovery coming into the market. If we take a look at the diamonds, notice we've been talking about these price levels in the chart um, quite a bit. If you notice this price resistance level right across here, we still have a downtrend in play here in the chart. We have this downtrend that we did defeat yesterday and rallied back up through. So now that we've broken through that level, the question is going to be, can we hold that higher low in here? Can we hold some of these price support levels, hold some of that downtrend in that chart, or will we end up ultimately reversing back down? The big question is, will we have a, an attack or re-attack from the bears up in this area. We do have to remember that our bigger upside trend here in the chart has been broken and yesterday's rally brought us right up into that area, right up into that price resistance in the chart. And so we still have that potential attack that could occur here. However, we do have a lot of bullish momentum here that certainly could carry us through to the upside. But one thing you do have to consider after such a big rally heading into the weekend and the uncertainties we still have, you know, rising inflation, all of those pricing pressures, more and more news about product shortage, shortages. We've got COVID still running around. We've got um, um, a potential taper coming. We've got a debt ceiling uh, battle still forming in um, Congress. All of these things create that uncertainty that makes you wonder if there might be a possibility of a little bit of risk off today, that possibility of a pullback um, and a little bit of selling despite the bullish energy here. So kind of watch for that possibility. I wouldn't rule out uh, the bulls actually fighting really hard to push back up and close this week strong. I also wouldn't rule out that possibility that those bears, which have been a lot feistier here recently than we've seen for a while, 
um, fight back a little bit and drive things down as we head into the weekend. So watch that close. Let's take a look at the SPY now. SPY certainly improved quite a lot yesterday, moving up a bunch. And as you can see here in this chart, we're pushing up into some price resistance levels in that chart. As a matter of fact, if you kind of look closely and not afraid to see it, there is a possibility of a head and shoulders top that could form right here. As we rally up into this, that possibility of that failure has to be considered. And notice that that trend that we have broken here is also creating some of that additional resistance level up here in that chart. If we take a look at the moving averages, you can see right, oh, there we go, that we um, ended the day right there at that 50 day moving average. And one of my favorite all time shorting patterns is uh, a pattern where we break the 50, rally back to the 50, and then we start to show failure in that possible failure that could bring us down for a retest of the lows or a higher low in the chart. So watch for that carefully. We also want to consider that we pushed right into that downtrend here in the chart where we backed away from. So there is resistance here and we need to respect that resistance, albeit a major uh, a major rally back yesterday, we still have some of those issues where we're not out of the danger zone yet, I would say. So just be really, really careful about rushing in. Let's take a look at the Qs. Now QQQ has been the strongest index of the bunch without question. However, we still have that problem where if we mark a trend off here, we broke that, we broke this trend, we even broke this trend and then rallied back up. But let's take a look right in here. We did cross back above this significant resistance point in the chart. So now that could serve as support here. We still have resistance above in this area of the chart to be concerned about after filling that gap. But if we can hold some support right in here, um, we certainly could see those bulls come back in. We do also consider, have to consider that downtrend resistance. So we've got this little, you know, accumulation of resistance right there where we want to watch for that possibility that bears could attack. And on the bullish side, we have um, the, the QQQ back above its 50 day moving average. But remember that we need it to hold. Um, there is no price support. Remember, we are in a downtrend. There is no price support unless we can prove to hold or if we, we can prove to hold a higher low. So we need to see this area hold. The rally is good, but it's, it's not going to help us out if it doesn't hold as support. So watch closely for that. We're right at that point where yeah, if the bears want to attack, this would be the time to do it. Let's take a look at our IWM. IWM surged hard yesterday, really rallied strongly. But doggone it, we still have so much congestion here in this chart. I'm not sure we can read a whole lot into that. Now, largely this was due to um, um, oil sector stocks being really, really strong here um after that oil report but let's keep a close eye on this now we are above our 50-day moving average which is a good sign but notice we could certainly um, see that 50-day crossing down through that 200-day here really soon and that is considered to be the death cross and we'll want to watch that pretty closely we still have this downtrend we have a ton of price resistance in this chart so we've got a lot of work here to do before i think we can claim the all clear here in um, the Russell. So watch that carefully. Let's take a look at our VIX. Now our VIX pulled back dramatically yesterday and we really needed that to occur. That is a, a good shot in the arm for the bulls. So let's take a look here. We had broken above this uh, downtrend here and held up there. But as you can see yesterday, we really sank pretty hard um, in there. If we pull this back just a little bit shorter term, 
looking across here. We finally broke that down yesterday. Uh, I mean, the day before yesterday and yesterday, we really smashed it lower. However, we still have this little bit of a problem in here. We've got this little uptrend going on in that chart. And with the market showing just a little tiny bit of bearishness today, if we were to see those bulls or bears, I mean, attack, we could certainly bounce in this area and that could still raise some concern. We could easily get back above that 20 handle. And if you guys remember, I've been talking about that 20 handle for a long time. There's a lot of price support and resistance around that area. So breaking back down below that yesterday was bullish. If we were to bounce back up and hold, that's where we could run into some problems. So watch that closely and carefully here today. It I got to give this one up to the bulls. They're looking pretty good there. Let's take a look at our T21. 22, which is the four week new high, new low ratio. Now this kind of adds to the little bit of concern of a little bit of profit taking away. Now yesterday during the day, um, at our high point, our T2122 was all the way up in here. We were pushed up into that bearish reversal zone. By the end of the day, we pulled back here just a little bit. And as you can see, we still have some upside opportunity. So if we can find that bullish inspiration, there's no reason to believe that we couldn't push right on up in here into that reversal zone. But kind of keep in mind that we're getting kind of stretched out here in the short term. And um, profit taking heading into the weekend shouldn't be ruled out. So watch carefully for that. And if those bears were to find that inspiration today, well, we certainly have plenty of downside opportunity that we could we could push lower on the day. So keep a close eye on that. Let's take a look at our T2107. Now, T2107 is the percentage of stocks that are above the 200 day moving average. And we had a nice recovery in that the last couple of days. But let's keep in mind here, we still have a ugly, ugly downtrend. And we have price resistance in this chart that could show up in this area. We need to see these stocks breaking above those 200 day moving averages, getting up in here, breaking these downtrends, holding a higher low, and then seeing that surge back up. And so far, we haven't got that. As a matter of fact, we're right at that point where those bears, if they were to re-engage, could certainly push us back down in that chart. And we see that little bit of bearishness going on this morning um, in the US futures. We see it uh, across the board in Europe this morning. And um, over in Asia, most everything was lower um, on the day. So a little bit of pressure here around the world, uh, possibly pushing back down with some of these uncertainties. So watch carefully for that. Let's take a look at our T2101. <clears throat> now T2101 is the absolute market breadth. <clears throat> and with that big surge yesterday, you would kind of expected to see a little bit more market breadth coming in, but instead it declined yesterday. So we'll want to keep a close eye on that. Now that can be very bullish for the market if we just no fear, that kind of thing, and we just kind of dribble this back back down. But we would like to see a little bit more energy in, um, in this starting to show up. So watch that closely and carefully. Could be a little bit problematic if that continues to drop out. What we don't want to see is if we get that selling wave today or profit taking wave, we don't want to see this spike back up hard. So watch carefully for that. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. We do have a little bit on the calendar for today to pay attention to. First off, <clears throat> we've got a whole slew of Fed speakers out here. You can see Jerome Powell is going to be speaking at 10 a.m. And we've just got tons and tons and tons of that out here. But the, the news event of the day is going to be the new home sales. We'll want to keep an eye on that. That certainly could be bullish or bearish for the market. So 
watch that one at 10 a.m. and that's the same time we're gonna have a bunch of fed speak going on so watch for that let's take a look at our earnings calendar now on the earnings calendar guys we only had six companies that um, are even whoops that's the blog are even verified um, uh, for reporting and looking through those not a whole lot in there for notables however um, I did pull out CCL Carnival Cruise will be reporting today they've been trying to come up here in these charts um, kind of an interesting situation with COVID being so bad all over the place um, around the world seeing these perk up but we're trying to break through some resistance levels and we've got a nice little wedging pattern here so keep a close eye on carnival there may be some upside opportunity in that and the only other one that really had any kind of notability at all was uh, jobs in that list today um you can see this has been got a little rising low been challenged by resistance levels up here in the chart so could be an important report whether or not it's going to continue to push on up or break this little uptrend uh, pushing it back if it were to fail so watch that closely let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up but before we do that guys if you could do me a quick favor if this is the first time you've seen these videos if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you can be notified every time I post a video and I just want to say thanks to everyone who does do that um, you know I, I say this every day but I, I do I truly appreciate it and I, and I am humbled every day by the kind comments and and words and I know there's a lot of folks that watch the video that don't take the time to click those thumbs up buttons and leave those comments and that kind of thing but if you if you could if you would just um, um, every once in a while do that it helps the algorithm show these videos to more folks and I truly appreciate that. Um, as a matter of fact, we're we're getting closer and closer to 25,000 subscribers. We're over 24,000 now, so I've got quite a ways to go yet, but your help in making that happen uh, means everything to me. So um, share this video, continue to um, point these videos out to folks. Um, and I just want to say thank you to everyone. Um, also, thank you so much to those who support the channel through the Buy Me a Coffee link just right below the title of the video. I truly appreciate that as well. How about we take a look at some of these stocks that could be setting up and please guys keep in mind these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. You have to do your own due diligence and be watching these things very closely and understand the risk of the trade. You should never ever blindly follow anyone else's trade idea. Um, yesterday, you guys remember I, I had mentioned Lulu and I do think Lulu con is continuing to set up in here, looking pretty good overall. Um, I would keep this one on the list. It looks like it may be trying to pull back a little bit this morning, but I would definitely keep it on the list. I would also be keeping in mind, as I mentioned um, um, yesterday, um, some of these oil sector stocks. Uh, take a look at like Devon. Devon had a, a unbelievable day yesterday. Now I would expect some kind of a rest or pullback um, in here. Um, breaking through resistance, however, I would watch for that to hold some higher lows. If we can hold higher lows in there, then there's certainly some upside opportunity moving up in this trend. And there are quite a few in that oil sector that just had a banner day yesterday. So watch carefully for that. Um, really good looking charts out there in some of that oil sector. Um, I think it might be worth taking a look at some of the stocks here in the financial sector as well you can see in the financial sector we tried to um, push back through some of this resistance didn't quite make it through the resistance made it up into that downtrend break and we got back above our 50-day moving average here substantially so any rest or pullback in here would set up an opportunity and you might find some pretty good charts in there if you take a look at like um, uh, Morgan Stanley holding up really well um, WFC um, coming right back you can see we've pushed right back up in here so you might find 
some um, some char charts that could be setting up um, here in that financial sector. So watch carefully for that. How about PLTR? Um, right Way Options picked up um, a position in PLTR just a day ago. And um, boy, that thing really took off yesterday and still looks like it is looking pretty good. Um, honestly, we're long and also short this at the moment um, with a hedge position. And um, I think at one point in the day, we were up 25% on that move. Now, keep an eye on this. When we push up that hard, I fully expect some kind of a rest or pullback to occur. Breaking through this big level of resistance, however, is important. So now if we can rest and pull back, consolidate out here um, into that trend, then we still have nice upside opportunity here in PLTR. So keep a close eye on that. Um, it's looking pretty good and maybe something you might want to consider uh, for a position. Other places, um, take a look at like um, Crocs. Crocs had a really good day. If you guys remember, I mentioned this in the video yesterday morning and um, really nice day here, breaking through resistance, holding up very, very well. Rest or pullback in here would certainly set up opportunity in that chart. I had also mentioned um, um, Intel and Intel finally made a break here. Now this isn't quite ready for prime time yet. In my opinion, it needs a little bit more work. But notice right in here, we broke this downtrend um, yesterday, pushing back up. So now the key element in here is can we hold? We had this inverted head and shoulders pattern that was forming and I was watching this for a potential trade right in here, but that market volatility got to us and pushed that ba it back down. So what we need to see right now regaining this support level in here holding we need that to hold and then see if we can get that entry signal into intel and the reason i would be looking at this is intel has been beat down beat down and beat down so when we look at tech stocks right now there's so many of them that have profit pe ratios that are extremely elevated Intel doesn't. Intel has a, um, a, a nice PE ratio for a potential buy. So watch that carefully. Um, might be something you might be interested in. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great profits, and I want to wish you a fantastic weekend. As a matter of fact, guys, as soon as I upload this video and get the blog posted, I am actually heading out to go do some hiking and uh, do a little bit of a, an extended weekend. So thank you everyone for all of your kindness, all of your support. Thank you everyone who does take the time to click those thumbs up buttons and leave comments. And I truly appreciate it. Have a wonderful weekend. Be safe everyone. And we'll see you right back here bright and early Monday morning.